Hey there! Prepare yourself for a wave of excitement as we unveil the latest updates straight from the brilliant minds of Team Manu Video Game Maker. Brace yourself because the moment you've been eagerly awaiting is right around the corner. Get ready to be transported into a realm of pure captivation. In our last video, we took a deep dive into the enchanting universe of physics and how they have the power to elevate your gaming experience. In the magical world of games, it's quite common for us to create exciting interactions between NPCs and objects. Today, we're here to unveil the secrets of bringing this enchanting functionality to life using the powerful trio of trigonometry, object variables, and dynamic bullets. Yes, they're as cool as they sound. Sit tight, adventurers! But before we start, we suggest you subscribe to our channel and like this video. If your friends also dream of creating games or want to try their hand at being a developer, share the link to this video with them. We are sure it will be helpful for you. Imagine a magnificent cannon, lovingly crafted by our talented team. It's designed to swivel gracefully on the y-axis and tilt its mighty barrel on the x-axis. But how does it know who to target? Fear not, for we have the solution. First, we introduce a mischievous object variable for our cannon, aptly named Target. You can give it any name that tickles your fancy. In our case, we set it to our heroic main character's body. With the flair of an animation maestro, we create a brand new animation that enables our cannon to eternally focus on the player. It's like having a camera that never loses sight of its star. Now, let's bring in a local variable named distx. Its mission? To calculate the distance on the x-axis between the cannon itself and the object defined in our target variable, the main character's body, remember? We repeat this process for the y and z axes, employing the same mystical formula as before. For the y-axis, we add 1 because we want the cannon to aim a tad higher, aiming for the stars quite literally. Now, let's embark on a journey down memory lane to the time we all learned about trigonometry in school. Ah, those math classes! By knowing the distances on the x and z axes, we can effortlessly calculate the angle A between the cannon and its target. It's like casting a spell that reveals the perfect alignment. Wait, there's more. By knowing the distance on the y-axis, we can calculate the hypotenuse and uncover angle B. It's a mathematical revelation! A special local variable comes to our aid, ready to calculate the rotation on the y-axis. Using the secret formula known as atan2, which is the arctangent of two numbers, fancy right? We calculate the angles based on the distance z and distance x. We sprinkle a little math seasoning by multiplying 180 and dividing by pi to convert those mysterious radians into friendly degrees. Sometimes, we need to add or subtract a few degrees to ensure our model's local and global rotations align seamlessly. Magic in action! This is the angle that the cannon needs to rotate to face the player. We add the cannon base to the timeline and we set the rotation on the y-axis to the local variable ROTY we have just calculated. It is a good practice to also add the rotation of the other axes and let them in the default origin value. It's like a perfectly choreographed dance of rotations. Remember to hit that loop button to keep the animation running and set it to start on the launch scene. Let the magic begin! In the game, behold the majestic cannon. It now targets the player regardless of their position. No escape! But wait, we noticed a tiny hiccup. The cannon struggles to target the player when they make daring jumps. Fear not, for we shall vanquish this issue as well. Introducing another enchanting local variable that calculates the length of the hypotenuse using the wondrous Pythagorean theorem. It's like a wizard's spell, unveiling the secrets of the right angled triangle. This hypotenuse is the square root of the distance x and distance z power squared. But wait, there's one more trick up our sleeves. We conjure yet another local variable to calculate the angle on the x-axis. Once again, we summon the arctangent of two numbers, this time the distance y and the hypotenuse. We weave our mathematical charms by converting this from radiant radians to sparkling degrees, multiplying by 180 and dividing by pi. It's a transformation from the arcane to the familiar. 
We import the cannon in the timeline and add the rotation in all three axes. We keep the default origin value on axis Y and Z. We set the axis X to rot X, which is the angle we have just calculated from the hypotenuse and the distance Y. And now, our dear cannon, armed with this newfound wisdom, can target the player in both the Y and X axes. It becomes the ultimate companion, faithfully following the player's every move, be it a leisurely stroll or a daring jump. The bond between the player and the cannon grows stronger. To add a touch of visual delight, we've included a dynamic cannonball from our previous adventures. It serves as a delightful reminder of the cannon's ever-watchful gaze, forever aimed at the player. Let the games begin. And with you was the Manu Project team. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can leave your comments and questions below this video. We are happy to respond to your messages. And don't forget that becoming a game creator is easier than you think. See you later.